Hi everybody, Gerdy Verwoerd here, their Great League Guiding Coach and today is episode 12 of the series on how to safely hike mountains and any other part of nature for that matter and um, this episode is all about forgetting about your diet just for the hike mind you just for the trekking tour maybe but definitely not for the rest of uh, for all those other days now I've got company let me show you let me see if I can show you can I turn this around oh, I'll just turn myself around come on there is she there she is let's see oh where there's one there's usually more so forgetting about your diet because when you're like me um, and like many women and probably men as well um, you've done your share of dieting over the years or you're just uh, health conscious and you like to eat healthy now I've done my share of dieting and I lost 25 kilos and I would like to keep them off which is why I usually eat quite healthy it's not always easy to do that when you go into the mountains when you go hiking so when I go for a day hike I might bring a salad uh, I always bring some trail mix which I put together myself um, but that's it really usually salad and um, a trail mix a trail mix consists for me of um, nuts like macadamias walnuts um, pistachio what else it, any kind of nut really except the ones that I don't like um, so that and then I add peanuts to it raisins and M&Ms and I know the M&Ms are not healthy but um, I like them in that trail mix I otherwise I won't eat them because I uh, it's something about being in the mountains and having that trail mix with me that makes it good to have M&Ms in there. So usually a salad and I use um, oil as dressing for that salad because, because oil provides slow burning energy which is uh, when you hike long distances is really good for you. Now I'm not going to kill myself if uh, I get tempted to bring along a Snickers bar or something like that because something like a Snickers bar or a Twix or whatever all those chocolate bars are called can give you that boost that you need to get down the mountain safely or to just get to the summit now what do you bring along when you go on a trekking tour so a hike that lasts a couple of days then it gets a bit more difficult um, if you want to bring fresh fresh food you have to bring something that or you have to to bring something that's not perishable and when you want to bring freeze-dried food that you can buy in the store it gets a bit challenging um, you may be able to find some vegetarian but the choices there are usually quite limited and then there's the possibility of um, uh, of all kinds of others dried food but that is usually not healthy it may taste okay but it's not healthy and when you're staying in cabins too salads are usually hard to find in cabins uh, it's uh, in Austria especially it's a lot of um, potatoes and meat or pasta and meat and not a whole lot of variation in there so you can be um, a stickler for your diet but when you are, you'd better buy yourself a um, one of those dehydrator machines that you can use to, when you prep your meals, meals to de dehydrate your meals and bring those along. And otherwise, just, you know, if you're going to do, go for a four day or a seven day trek, forget about your diet. Make sure you get all the calories you need because you're burning a lot of energy when you're going into the mountains. So don't worry about your um, diet too much you may you may gain a bit of weight but that might also just be uh, muscle that you've built 
and you'll find that your pants or your skirt is a little bit looser around the waist because um, you've lost some fat while hiking. All right, tip number 12. Do not worry about your diet. Forget about your diet. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.